What's going on, High Society? Welcome back to another 5S tier list video. This week, we're taking a look at a long forgotten trend in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that is the Curry decks. Um, I'm sure all of you were disappointed that even though we got amazing new legendary Pokemon, even though a lot of old favorites came back in both the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor DLCs, mythical Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, etc., etc., we did not get any new curry. Game Freak, why do you keep continuing to fail us? What is this first national dex cut? Now, curry dex cut? I don't understand. But anyway, we're gonna be looking at all these curries, and I'm gonna say if I think it mm, looks delicious, Mm, I'd give it a try. Well, if I have to eat it, no thanks and trash tier in the garbage. So we'll go through these. I'm going to be kind of flipping back and forth between uh, Cerebi because some of these I want to know exactly what's in them. So we'll start off. We'll kind of go in order here. So we'll go with regular curry, which we see here. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with regular curry. You know, it's not going to be like too spicy or anything, I mean, pretty solid, like, just regular curry. I would eat it. I'd give it a try if somebody put it in front of me. Alright, next up we got the sausage curry. Now this looks pretty good. I love me some sausage, the more meat the better. So I think that looks delicious. Even though it is kind of weird that you just get packages of sausage that people have been carrying around, but, you know, maybe it's dried sausage, which would probably take away some of the flavor, but maybe it was very smoked. That'd be good. All right. Next up, we got the Juicy Curry. Okay, so this is Bob's food tin, so we're looking at canned meat here. Alright, which one of these is the juicy curry? Is it this one? Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, juicy curry. I'd say if I have to. Um, it looks fine. Like, I see they put some greens on there more than the regular curry, which makes me think that you gotta, like, cancel out some of the flavors of that canned meat. Um, maybe it's more the canned meat that's kind of turning me off there. Um, we'll get to another one soon with some canned meat, but I'd put the juicy curry down a little bit. Here we got the rich curry. Now this is the other one I was talking about because this we use box food tin, so this is basically spam in a can. The rich curry right here. Um, I'm gonna say no thanks. Like look at that. That looks, actually that's trash here. That looks gross. That just looks like sliced spam. Very thinly sliced thrown on top of my what was once delicious curry. No thank you. Alright, next we got the bean medley curry. So this one's interesting. Tin of beans. Um, what do they look like? What kind of like... Pinto beans, maybe? Or maybe like a white navy bean? Um... I would try it. I think this could be like, if you add some spice, it kind of be like chili over rice, which is pretty good. So I give it a try. I like chili over spaghetti. Um, if you've ever tried that, pretty delicious. So I give it a try. All right, next we got toast curry. This looks really good. I'm just going to say it. So toast curry, I'm going to say it looks delicious. Like, I just like the idea of having this nice, thick like French toast bread style and just like using it to mop up and dip my curry like that looks great that's up there for sure all right next we got pasta curry ooh so you put pasta on top of the curry that's a lot of grain um, that's like a lot of starch right there um, seems very heavy to me very heavy um, I'm going to put in the if I have to. Like, it's between that and I would give it a try. Because I would like to try it, but I don't think I'd be able to eat it all. Like, that looks very heavy. Like, very dense. 
Just a very dense curry right there. All right, next we got the mushroom medley curry. So I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms. Um, I'm gonna say no thanks. Um, just because I'm not a big mushroom guy. If you like mushrooms, you might put it up higher. But I'm not the biggest mushroom guy. Smoke tail curry. Okay. <laughs> freaking slowpoke tail curry. Oh my god. That looks so freaking gross. Oh my god. Oh god. It looks so nasty, dude. Oh my god. This is... Uh, but it's a delicacy, right? Oh my god, just look at it, it makes me want to throw up. I'm putting it in the trash here. I almost want to put in no thanks just to be, like, polite. But, nah, it's like, oh my god. Those poor slowpoke. Alright, leek curry. Um, those leeks look really big, and I don't want no surfetch coming to beat me up, so I'm just gonna say no thanks. Um, roasted leeks I've never had before. Um, they just seem very bitter. They seem like they would be very bitter, so I'm, I'm gonna say no thanks to the, uh, leek curry there. Apple curry, oh my god, so, this is great. I've actually had this before. Um, apple curry is great. The sweet with the spice. Oh, it's a flavor concoction like that that's all i want with my curry just a nice blend of flavor bone curry yo this looks interesting right what is this brittle bone so they literally just take bones morph the rice around it and then throw some curry on top it's gotta have like a nice meaty flavor though right from that bone um bone curry i'm gonna put in the if i have to like, just the fact that the ingredient is just bones. Like, if it was, like, a bone in ham or, like, a chicken leg, turkey leg, maybe, like, you could... But literally, it's just brittle bone. Like, it, it just says brittle bone. Next, plenty of potato curry. This looks really good. This looks very good. Um, also, like, kind of like the same part as, like, the bread. I think having the potato would kind of, like saturate the spice so i think i'm not a super spicy guy but i can see myself like going a little higher in the spice knowing that the starch from the potato will kind of take it away and if, if those potatoes are cooked nice mm, that's gonna be some good curry next we got the herb medley curry pungent root okay we all know what the pungent root does that's nasty that's nasty. Oh my god, that's nasty. That's trashy. Look at that. It looks like somebody like vomited all over it. It's literal key ingredient is called pungent root. Pungent. That's not a word I want to see. They try to like put like a pine needle on there. What the hell is that? Salad curry. No thanks. I don't know why I would want that. Salad is for the side. It's not for all my curry. As you can see, I like me some meat. I like me some starch, some heaviness. Not too heavy. I think the double pasta is still too heavy, but no, nah, salad, no thanks. Fried food curry, okay. <laughs> this is pretty good. I would try it. French fries on the curry. It's kind of the same idea as the potatoes, but like a little bit less. You're not gonna get that full like starch there but uh i think it, it would be good i mean it's fried food right so it's just it's gonna taste good okay boiled egg curry look at this huge massive egg look at this thing oh my god boiled egg curry where the hell do we go with here boiled egg um i would try it that's a big ass egg though like, you're not gonna eat that whole thing, right? What do you, what animal is that even from? It just says boiled egg. We don't even know what animal, what Pokemon that's from. My God. 
tropical curry. Yo, bananas in a curry? I would try it. I would try it. Um, kind of like the same idea as the apple curry, but this might be a little too sweet. And like the consistency, right? Because you're going to have, instead of like the crisp apple, you're going to have like the mushy banana. I don't know how it would do cooked. Um, maybe a plantain would be better. You know, because it would be a little like heartier and cooked nicer. But um, I would still try it. If somebody put that in front of me, I'd give it a go. Cheese covered curry. This is some brie cheese right here. Some moo moo cheese. You can see a very nice melt to that cheese. Listen, this is like a heart attack, but you're going for it, right? Like, it's cheese on curry, you're going for it. Seasoned curry. Okay, this is starting to look a little too spicy for me. Not gonna lie, like, look at this red lava texture, and they just put... Okay, so they took, like, a fistful of, like, chili powder, cayenne pepper, whatever the hell that is, and just put it on top. Didn't even mix it in. I'm gonna say no thanks. Like the, I guess like you would mix in the spice, but that's a lot of spice. I would need like four glasses of whole milk to get through that thing, my God. Whipped cream curry, oh my God. It looks like a little cake over there. It's kind of now creamy, oh my God. Fresh cream. Okay, um, would I try whipped cream curry? Oh my god. That's just weird, right? That's weird. I'm gonna put in the if I have to, because I do love whipped cream, but... Guys, comment down below. Do people really eat this? Do people put whipped cream on their curry? I just don't know, like... I feel like the whipped cream would melt very fast. Um, it would just get mixed in, and I don't know. I don't really see it. Okay, decorative curry, yo. You know if you coming up to me with an EV Pikachu looking ass curry, I'm on that. I'm on that. On to the next one. That is awesome. Coconut curry. I hate coconut. Trash tier. No, it's probably like milk. Because again, the sweetness of the coconut would be nice with the spice of the curry. Um, but I'm not a big coconut guy, so that's why I'm gonna say no thanks. But I could see it if you're a coconut fanboy or fangirl. Okay, yo, instant noodle curry. I totally see this as like, you know, you go to like Pokemon World and this is like just one of the things on the side. Um, I would definitely give it a try. I might even put it in the it looks delicious because anything in a cup looks delicious. I'm putting it in it looks delicious because anything in a cup looks delicious. That's what I gotta say. Look at this. This guy playing freaking curry pong here. My god. Alright, burger steak curry, yo. I love me a Salisbury steak. Brings me back to the good old days of like middle school, high school, where you go and they just slap those McRib style like shaped patties and those Salisbury steak. Like you know that ain't real meat, but you don't care. And now they slapped it on curry. My God. All right, the last curry, the Gigantamax curry. This thing is radiation. Look at this thing. It's, this curry lives up to its Gigantamax name with its overwhelming umami taste. It's key ingredient is Giganta Mix. Nobody knows what that is. Nobody knows what it does. Pokemon are growing a hundred times their normal size. I'm pretty sure that's cancer. Pretty sure it's just cancer. Um, I'm gonna go in no thanks. If somebody orders that and I see it coming across the room, I'm putting on a hazmat suit. I'm, you know, leaving. I'm going like five towns over. I need to get out of that radiation zone. So, socialites, my society, this is my curry list. Let me know what you think down below. Is there anything I put in the no thanks or the trash tier that you are dying to try? Is there anything that I said looks delicious or that I would try that you're like, nah, that's trash tier. You don't know what you're talking about, lab dog. As always, 
Thanks for watching, and stay classy, society.